You see the drip, yeah, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up. This video is sponsored by me and my Lifetime Support Group. The Lifetime Support Group that comes with a 12-week gym program, two home workout programs, and a Lifetime Facebook support group. That's right, getting healthier is a lifestyle, so of course you need a support group that will always be open, where I'm very active daily. If you're interested, the link is below. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Michelle McDaniel. I'm a personal trainer. A proud mother of a pug and a chihuahua. A past theater nerd gone grown up cosplayer, and this is my channel. My thoughts will probably offend you, where I share my thoughts, they will probably offend at least one person. So, if there's anything offending you today, let me know in that comment section. I would love to hear it. So, a lot of us watch cartoons here, and I know I'm not the only one who, when I was younger and still now, just gawk over cartoon women that have a nice set of curves with a small waist, and the icing on the cake is when they have a personality to match. Dexter's mom, thick. Miss Bellum, girl, stop. Her curves were so just mm, that they only focused on her lower body and had housewives shook enough that they took out her character from the show. Mrs. Proud Cheeks Can Clap. Mrs. Incredible, by the way, just received the outfit from Amazon. Get ready for the cake because there's a lot down here. But though it looks great in the cartoon universe, that super tiny waist doesn't translate very well into real life. Most people aren't built like a cartoon. I'm actually gonna say that I think it's pretty impossible to have this tiny of a waist naturally. Okay, Nami, calm down with all of that. I like you, but this is unrealistic, which is fine because she's a cartoon. It's supposed to be unrealistic. But some people want this to be their reality. And this is exactly what a woman named Pig wanted to make her reality so badly that she got six ribs removed removed from her body six ribs six out of twelve gone so that she could embody a cartoon let's meet her I always been inspired by cartoons all the curves and tiny ways I'm really happy with how I look now, but I still see things that could be fixed. I don't know if it's just the audio, but it sounds like it just hurts her to even speak. All the curves and tiny ways. Maybe because she gotta work extra hard to make sure her organs aren't spilling out? Not sure, but it just sounds like it's just hard for her to talk. I'm just kidding, but really, how did, like, how did she move? Just from this one tiny clip, it just looks like she's about to tip over. Getting my ribs removed, I have been thinking about for a long time. It's always been like a, a dream of mine. Holy crap, her waist before was already very like compacted. Me and my Spongebob waist could never. But remember in the last video when we talked about the multiple surgeries never being enough, maybe even body dysmorphia? She already removed six ribs and she's saying that there's more that can be fixed. How much more? I think, like, I think you can only live without six ribs. Like that's the limit. <laughs> Like, you can't do anymore unless you want to die. So Pixie was having a very hard time finding a surgeon that would perform the surgery so that she can get her goal of a 14-inch waist. It's really hard to find a surgeon, almost impossible. That's good. That's a good thing that a lot of doctors or surgeons didn't want to perform this. Unfortunately, she did find someone that would perform the surgery. In Indianapolis, a surgeon named Barry Eppley performed the six rib removal. I looked him up on IG. I was gonna do a little deeper dig on what this guy just was all about, but y'all, I'm squeamish. I told you that in the last video. I see whatever's going on here, I'm out. But y'all can go check him out. Maybe you wanna get six ribs removed so you can have this aesthetic. I don't know, It's you guys can do whatever you want. I ain't judging about your aesthetic goals. I mean, I am, but you can do whatever you want. I just don't think removing six ribs is needed, but it's what she wanted. So let's move on. It's really hard to find a surgeon, almost impossible. The only reason why I can do it now is because doctors finally started taking me seriously because they see that I'm not a crazy person. I mean, you do want to get six ribs removed and ribs protect your vital organ. Actually, according to Google, the ribs essentially serve two main purposes. They protect your heart, lungs, and other organs and tissues in the upper body. They also provide some protection for your liver and kidneys. They provide structure and support to the bones and muscles in your chest, shoulders, and back. So they protect a lot of things and we have 12 for very good reasons. There's nothing complex, extra- Oh God, please don't show anything gross. There's nothing complex, extraordinary or unduly difficult about it. Nothing unordinary. <laughs> Dr. Barry, I have never. 
I have never seen anyone walk around like this, Dr. Barry. I'm gonna go out on a whim and say it's extremely unordinary to want to get or to just get six ribs removed. I don't think that's a normal thing that people are doing. It's not like chesticle surgery. It seems that everybody has, you know, fake chesticles going on. Getting six ribs removed is very taboo. It's very unordinary. I don't know, not one person, minus this girl, who I don't know in real life, getting si six ribs removed. If this is normal in your life, Dr. Bear, you've got some very tiny wasted friends. Uh, it does require an extremely motivated patient. And I think certainly Pixie would qualify. I just can't get over how tiny her waist was already. I would be in the nude all the time. I mean, I already am, but it would be amplified. A motivated patient is somebody who can accept the scars that come from the procedure, as well as is prepared for the discomfort in the short term that comes from taking several rips. I mean, I don't know. It seems like he's pretty upfront with what's going on, the risks, the pain, the um, aftermath. And she understands and she doesn't care. She just really wants that tiny cartoon waist. So, I mean, if that's what she wants, who am I, like, I, what am I supposed to say? It's not an operation which feels great afterwards, but certainly she's about as motivated a person as you're going to find. Red number. Oh, no, we are not watching that. I already saw a glimpse. You guys know I'm squeamish. I'm not watching that for you guys. Now I can never eat ribs again. Thanks a lot. When I go to family reunions, what am I gonna do? Just eat potato salad? No, they go together. All right, let's pass that part up. It's crazy. I can't believe that just happened. Girl, it did. Six. Six out of your 12 ribs are gone. Ripped out of your body. Half. Half are gone. So a few months after the rib removal surgery, Pixie appeared on the show that I never watched, The Doctors, and they were all like, uh, this is weird, girl. Why did you, why did you take out six ribs? You need those. I, I'm gonna be honest with you, I think we're all a bit flabbergasted. Very difficult, not only to watch that surgery, but quite honestly, to watch just the severe transformation. <laughs> medically what's the recovery been like after losing your ribs well actually the recovery went super super good uh one to two weeks later i was back in a gym really i don't know if i believe that because people will get at least I, 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 at least like a lot of my friends right they all have these things going on. For the new people watching, if this is your first video, no, they are not fake. They are real. I have very good bras from Ross that were like $8. But just with like getting implants in, a lot of them cannot lift something above their head for a while. Also, mini warning, a lot of people are getting their boob implants removed and finding that after years of having safe surgery, not for everyone, but I am seeing a lot of posts of my friends who are just done with their implants. Anyway, not the point, I know it's different. They are getting something put into their body. She is getting something taken out, but it just seems like it's like more of a intense surgery than implants, getting your ribs removed. And then she's back in the gym for two weeks. What were you doing in the gym, Pixie? J standing there with only six ribs? Can you stand up real quick? Yeah. I just. I mean. Pixie. So. And, and Pixie, what? Crap, that waist is tiny. She got her goal. That is a tiny waist. I do have to say though that she's really cute. I know a lot of the comments are gonna be like, gross, I prefer my women natural. Really? Do you? You probably really don't. Uh, prefer your women natural. And thanks for clearing that up, by the way, that's cool. But her face is very pretty. Her body is just a huge shocker and it feels very unproportional, but that is what she's going for. I thought you were beautiful in your, your pictures before you did anything. I mean, uh, stunning, stunning, stunning. Okay. We were all thinking it. I said in the beginning that her waist was already very tiny and my SpongeBob waist could never. Can I just say, like, I know her story is dramatic, but I got this comment a lot when I was losing weight and especially when I started competing and get very, very lean. You looked better before. Cool. Thanks for telling me how you prefer my body. I always get that kind of comment when I do like a throwback, you know, picture of when I competed and people are like, I prefer you 
bigger. Okay. <laughs> so the man that said that he preferred her body how it was originally said that she obviously didn't think she was beautiful. Before, before you touched anything. Thank you. But yeah, you obviously, but, uh, you, you didn't feel that way. And she was like, no, 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 I obviously loved myself. No, it's actually, it's not about, um, it's not about everyone think it's because I want attention or I didn't like myself before. Actually, I loved myself before, I really did. And, and like I said, I can relate to this because I'm sure people are saying, uh, no, you didn't, then why did you change your body? But I would always get these comments when I was getting very lean because it just looks so different from everyone else. On stage, it looks really cool because you're standing next to other people that are very lean too but in real life you kind of look like a freak of nature and people are like what's going like are you a mutant what are you doing and people will tell you that you look superhuman which was a compliment for me but people would always say oh so like you hated your body before no i just have a goal to compete and i guess this was her goal to she, she has a goal of what she wants to look like. What can I say to that? I don't think it's the healthiest thing, just like competing is not the healthiest thing, but she knew the risk. People know the risk when they get into competing. What am I supposed to say? So the doctors ask her her goal. But but you say you're not done yet. You, 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 see, you say there's still more to do. Yeah. I mean, that... What's your goal? Again, you, that thinking is... What are you trying to do? And I'm super interested in what her goal is because she said that she's she can still see things that she can improve. My goal right. is to do what makes me happy. I, for the first time in my life, I feel like I'm doing the right thing for me. I I'm, I'm down. You know, I'm completely down with that. What negative thing can I say that this woman wants to make herself happy with having, you know, paying money to get herself the way that she wants to look? It affects me in absolutely no way. She knows the risks, no one's forcing her. It makes her happy once again. What, no, like, what can we say to that? Let the woman just be happy. I'm happy for her if that, like, that's what she wanted, that's what she got. Do your thing, Pixie. I have a vision of how I want to look and I'm really close to that, so. So what else, what else do you need to do? What to else I need to do? Exactly I have some like. plans and I'm not revealing this right now. You're gonna have to follow me to know. <laughs> yeah, look at the doctor's face. They're judging so hard. The life of an influencer, I tell you, you gotta follow her. She gotta get those coins. You need a following. But she basically ended it with, she is very close to what her end goal is. But I am close to my vision. So I got curious because this was aired five years ago in 2016. So you know what time it is, people. Where are they now? Instagram edition. Pixie Fox, the living cartoon, former electrician who got famous for having plastic surgery, dreams of becoming an actor. So now the question is, but can she act though? We were made for each other. The way you lift me up. The comfort you give me, the way that you felt on my skin, oh man, you're just the support I need. Together, I felt like we would take over the world. Pixie, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> Had so much fun recording the Let's Break Up Challenge video. Watch the video on YouTube. Yeah, I mean, we could, but it... It just didn't really catch my eye. I don't care about the let's break up challenge. What did catch my eye is that she was on Tosh.0. Pixie Fox removed six ribs to achieve her dreams. That's courage. Her body's a work of art. Like if Picasso were drunk and horny. And I think she was pretty perfect in this one. They did a Barbie and Ken setting. Tosh was plastic and so was she because she really is plastic. So they went to that Barbie theme, which was perfect. She does look like a Barbie. You don't have to take your shoes off. Everything's made of cheap plastic. Fruit? Oh no. I just had a baby carrot on the way over. I don't know if she'd get those like high profile starring roles, but you can still act on things like Instagram and YouTube. So that's good for her. She's also working on a home beauty line and she's exposing plastic surgeon. Ooh, people love exposing things. In her most recent post, she didn't expose the plastic surgeon completely or at least go into detail on exactly what happened, but apparently she is recovering from a very intense surgery that was performed incorrectly. And according to her, the doctor is a scam. Y'all, if you are getting a plastic surgery and morphing your body into certain things, you gotta be careful. So about the body though, I think it evened out pretty well. Keep in mind, she's not going for a normal 
body. She's going for a more cartoon look. I mean, I really like this red bathing suit picture. I notice when she adds that corset, that's when it gets very like, it's a lot. Like it's very like that shock factor. I do think that she got more done probably to the face. Like it looks different from the last video. I think she also got some things done to her hips and legs because I'm not trying to judge, but I don't think Pixie is in the gym deadlifting super heavy, squatting super heavy, doing heavy kickbacks. I don't think she's doing that. Just gonna take a guess. Maybe she'll see this video and can confirm what exactly she got. I'm sure she's very open about it. She got six ribs removed. She's, girl ain't got nothing to hide and I'm living for it. I'm so happy that she's like open about everything rather than getting six ribs removed and then saying, oh, buy my ab workout. It's gonna make your waist so tiny like me. Right, we all love those Instagram fitness models. She's extremely truthful and I like that. Go Pixie and anyone else who is very upfront about their plastic surgery. Uh, journeys. But the red bathing suit, she could cosplay freaking Nami. Anyway, that was the woman who got six ribs removed so that she could look like a real life cartoon. Let me know your opinions in the comment sections. I would love to hear it. I think if that's what she wants to do, then she should do it. She is living her own personal dream and we all have our own personal dream. If it's not hurting anyone, go for it. Thank you so much for watching. If there's more videos you want my opinion on, make sure to link them below. And do read the comments at least within the first hour of posting the video because I love to communicate with you guys. If you guys want more of me, I am on Instagram along with my dogs. Follow them and I will see you guys next time. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Fit it up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Fit it up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh, I've been on the flex since flex on.